TV and more specifically, welcome back to my channel and the brand new 2019 Audi R8 facelift, if you will, but it's the performance edition. So there are loads of cool little bits on this car that I'm going to take you around and talk about. But first of all, as Archie would say, just look at it sat there. It is a wonderful piece of kit. And this spec in particular is a bit of me. So let's just start off by going around the outside then. The paint is a scary blue metallic, I believe which I think is a new colour, I'm right in saying, for the facelift R8, because I've not seen any uh, V10 Pluses or V10s on the road in this colour. We've obviously got the new front uh, grille here, with a new bit of aero. Very, very, very akin to the Hurricane Performante, if I can even mention that in this video. Uh, but it's no bad thing, that is an incredible car as well. So this is the Performance Edition, so you'll see that it has these wheels, there is carbon all over the car, it's got ceramic brakes as well which are not only monstrous, but having just driven it for a few minutes, I can vouch they stop you very, very quickly. Unbelievable brakes. And there's loads of cool little touches, Audi Sport touches, all over the car. Um, coming around then, carbon on the wing mirrors, carbon on there, carbon side skirts. Coming around there, carbon side blade there. You've got carbon rear wing, carbon diffuser, and also these exhausts for the facelift. Hi, Archie. Hi, mate. For the facelift R8, this kind of final version, actually, of the R8 V10. It's got the kind of old school retro exhaust tips, which are super, super cool. You would have seen them on the RS6, the RS3, and they brought them back for the R8. We've got a carbon diffuser down there. From the back, it looks unbelievable. From the side, it looks unbelievable. And obviously through here, uh, as stand, you get the glass panel that you can see the V10 through. Lamborghini, which people always compare this car to, you have to pay extra for that glass. This comes as standard on this car. And you've got carbon all around the engine bay there. You can't see that because I haven't opened it, but trust me, it's in there. Again, with Lamborghini, I believe you have to pay eight, nine, 10 grand to have carbon in the engine bay. You get that standard in the R8, which is unbelievable. List price on this car then, let's get in the side here. I don't know where we are actually, we're just in some sort of field. Yeah. Chaos. List price then on this car is 154,000 pounds. Oh, I don't know how many of these there. £154,000 before options. So this car on the road that we're looking at right here is about 165000 is it not, Archie? 169000 which puts it slap bang into kind of mint, old shape hurricane territory. Is that true? Yeah. What are, what are mint, because you've got a hurricane that's on the market at the moment, what are hurricanes? 150 something, but if you want a mint, it'll probably be about 160, 170, no? Okay, so this, thanks very much for that, mate. Really, really helpful. <laughs> Glad you know the market your car's selling into. So this is 620 PS, which is about 620 brake horsepower. Nought to 60 is 3.1 seconds, and it'll go on to a top speed of 205 miles an hour. So all excessively fast, and the kind of speed you'd expect of a supercar these days. But it is not letting the side down at all. That is right slap bang in the middle of all other supercars. Performance is mental. And grip, as we know, with the Audi Quattro is potty. Hello! Inside the car then, let's have a little look because there are a number of options in here. So it's got the interior leather package. It's shouting at me, I think, because I've left the lights on because it looks better in videos. Uh, so inside here, we've got the extended leather package, which is about £2,000, I think. We have diamond quilted leather on here and on the headlining as well, which I don't know if you can pick that up. There we go. So that is an optional upgrade, but everything in here is just, as you'd expect with Audi, just extremely well made. There is carbon fibre on everything. Every little surface, it's even on the inside here, around here, all around the gear stick, on the door here, just everything is carbon fibre. And I must say the fit and finish in this car is probably up there with the best I've ever seen. Really, really nice. The GoPro is obviously not an optional extra. That has uh, been brought along today. Uh, behind us here, something that my Aventador lacks, it's actually got storage behind the head. So there's these useful little kind of storage nets. And we've got a multimedia system there as well. Through the rear window, we can see that glorious V10 pumping out 620 PS. And all in all, it's just a very cool place to be. I believe you can get different option seats as well. There are different shapes to choose from. Uh, but I think in this car, this shape would be my pick. I think that's pretty much in it in here. The interior has not received a huge update for the facelift. It's stayed pretty much exactly the same, but that is no bad thing because in here, it's like being in a fighter jet. Super, super cool. And this steering wheel, again, I think, am I right in saying this is probably one of the best wheels out there on the market? Yeah. Yeah? 
one off. Have you seen Lambo steering wheels? Yeah, I've owned one. Terrible. Yeah, they are compared to them. They are actually terrible. You can't even option them with carbon. But this thing here is literally like being in a jet. It's unbelievable. That's it, really. And quick through burns there. I think it's now time to get going. Let's start her up. Ooh. Sounds good. Sounds sound very good. And with all modern Audis, we've got this interface here, which is a huge, huge digital dash. We can have kind of a map on there. You can have whatever you want. You can have, you know, let's have a little look. How do we, oh. uh, view. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, Archie knows what he's doing. So you can change that. Literally anything you want to know about the car and your surroundings, you can get it all up. And I think you can just change it to a map of the world, whatever you want, super, super cool. And I think Audi, I'm right in saying as well, actually save their best tech for the R8s and not the Lambos. I know I keep talking about Lamborghini, but everyone knows, it's not an elephant in the room, everyone knows um, that a lot of parts of the Hurricane are actually Audi, which is no bad thing because Audi know how to build cars. And the Italians, whilst they, uh, they're good with, with flair and, and style, sometimes they kind of do a Friday afternoon job on things. So super, super cool. But anyway, I think it's now time to get in the car, go for a little drive. My time in the brand new Audi R8 V10 Plus Performance is now at an end. I just want to say huge thanks to Audi for getting myself and also uh, that reprobate over there out here into uh, Gloucestershire, is it? Mm -hmm. uh, Calcott Manor, really, really cool press trip. As always with Audi, they absolutely nail it. So the car's been absolutely fantastic. It is a serious, serious piece of kit. And I advise you, if you can go and test drive one of these, make sure you do because it is, it is absolutely astounding what they've done there are loads of cool details that i haven't covered in my video and presumably archie hasn't either um but yeah hope you've enjoyed it uh we've really enjoyed just getting out on the country roads here just out of london for a change we're always in london it's nice to see we're always just doing laps it's nice of, to see some trees yeah other than just sort of the side of harrods just going around and doing laps so it's been really really cool i am mega impressed by one of these cars and at some point i could see myself with an Audi R8 in the garage. I'm probably not gonna title this video, I'm buying one, um, because I've done so many of those recently. <laughs> uh, I just I just don't think I can get away with it anymore. Oh, I might go that... nice with this title. Yeah, you might go nice. Uh, see, see the view difference at the end. Yeah, I, okay, I'm gonna go nice with this title. I'm gonna see how many views I get on it. And if it doesn't get many views, I'm gonna go back to being vicious with the titles. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and all my other ones. I appreciate all the support and all the stuff that I do. Stay tuned, because there's new car news and there's all sorts of... Go Actually, we're going to Monaco tomorrow. We need to book flights. So we're going to Monaco tomorrow, then we're going to Basel World, and then we're going to Paris. Uh, all separate things, and you'll see loads of content. It's a very exciting time, so stay with me. See you again soon. Four days on the road. Sorry. Thank you. See you guys. Bye. I don't wanna fight with you. Just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us